So, what caused this? It wasn't what I thought at first. Let me show you what I found out. So what I first thought when I saw this start happening on this uh, boomerang, which I've printed before, just fine, and uh, then it really got worse over here. And my first thought was pillowing because it's um, very low infill because I wanted it uh, light. Um, I mean, it really doesn't look like pillowing. But my first thought was that it was a cooling fan. Maybe stuff wasn't uh, setting right here, so I replaced my parts cooling fan. That didn't make a difference. I have an, another one just like this that uh, was printed after the fan. Still, same sort of result. So I went in looking at my slicer settings, and let me just prove that I can actually reprint this in a, I think, fairly decent way, possibly a little bit. Uh, under extruded here, but uh, it was uh, actually another print that exhibited this same behavior where I really started to see, because um, I stopped at mid print and I could see this top layer was not of the same consistency as what was below it. And uh, as you can sort of see here, a, a very narrow line width, hopefully in here, and a much more significant line width here and that was the problem so i'll show you the issue there in the slicer was well, somewhere along the line i was doing something detailed and some thing made me change my top uh, uh, yeah the top infill layer width to 0.26 millimeters instead of just accepting the standard line width here so that was the problem. And as soon as I uh, changed that and re-sliced, started getting a much better look here. And uh, got the uh, layer, top layer to adhere properly. So that's what it was. It wasn't a pillowing type effect. It was just that this top layer was too thin and uh, just not really adhering to the layer below it. So there it is, another lesson learned the hard way. Hope that helps you in case you uh, experience something like this. So, there you go. Happy printing.